Alright, hello YouTube, this is I. So this week I'm going to show you how you can get a cool bass sound using the Wave GTR3. Alright, so here I have the Wave GTR3, the default settings when you open the plugin. Let's hear how our bass sounds. I'm using the Spectre Legend with Active Electronics uh, and EMG HC pickups. That's our starting sound. Let's first put the panning to the center. So if I want to, for some reason, do some dual thingy, I'll just have them in the center. Anyway, I will use only this channel and turn the volume of this one down. And first, let's try all the different bass amps. All right, next one. Next one. All right, and next one. And then super tube. Thunder. All right, that sounds like very low and heavy. I might use that one. I really like this one, it has a lot of like mid-range. Uh, let me double check from the manual, over bass. All right, Mesa Boogie, 400 something. Anyway, I'm most likely going to use this one because I really dig how this sounds. All right, and then for the cabinet, let's first try bass cabinets. I really dig this default one though. Then the next one. And 810. Those were the bass amps. I actually like this one more. So what I think I'll do is that I'll take here the thunder. And then I'm going to blend in this one. And let's check that we are in phase. This one has more low end, so I'm going to keep that. Then let's turn the volume down on this one. And then on this one, we want to have a bit less mids. And then the thunder doesn't have a lot of treble, so we are not concerned about that. But next I'm going to use the overdrive to get even more mid-range. Alright, and I noticed that we have a bit of a noise, so let's use the noise gate. Hold to the minimum release about 50-ish. Attack to fast as possible. And about minus 50 on my base. Cool. Then...
Then I don't think we need to play around with the level because I think it the level is alright. And now we can add a lot more bass, so let's try this first. And then let's try to change the cabinet here. Let's use the expressor, which is kind of like the waves axis, it's pretty much the same. So what I want it to do is that, that on all the hits I will light up the first LED, then on some hits it will light up the second LED. So. Alright, that seems alright, then let's add a bit longer attack time, because we want the bass not to come through. And then we can see that we are run, uh, running to the red, so let's just turn it down by 6 dB. Maybe 3. Alright, and that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. Thank you for watching and make it music.